Hey guys, it's Amber. So today I'm going to be having a quick skincare update and I'm going to show you some things that I bought. So yes, I did end up breaking my no buy and I'll explain why in just a second. So first of all, I will show you how my skin looks. Hello. Little Miss is here. I've been trying to film all week and <laughs> something ultimately happens where she just creates a disaster. She doesn't sleep today. She actually went to sleep and then a thunderstorm woke her up. And I'm like, here we are. Anyway, so just ignore her. But basically, so what my skincare routine has been is I've been using ordinary products and drinking or taking a capsule of the apple cider vinegar. So I ran out of some of my products from the ordinary and I was like, you know, the apple cider vinegar has been helping so much. I wonder, I wonder what's really helping the most. So I ran out of my rosehip oil and my azelaic acid a couple months ago and I just didn't repurchase it. And I was like, you know what, I'm on a no buy. I'm not gonna purchase anything. Let's just see if I can get through. So for a while actually, my skin stayed pretty clear, but I've been starting to notice the last few weeks that these bumps right here, have started to come back and a little bit of the pigmentation, I did get a zit right there, which you can see. And I mean, overall it's not bad, but it's just like the texture. I, it was like my skin was getting so smooth that when I put on my foundation, it was just like seamless and I loved it. And now when I'm putting foundation on, I'm starting to see those little bumps and ridges and things like that. And it's like, you know, if I can improve it and it's not that expensive, then I'm gonna. So I went ahead and ordered a few things. Of course they got me with the whole, well, if you spend $35, you can have free shipping. It's like, well, would I rather have another item or pay for shipping? Yeah, so I fell. I did get one new skincare item and I actually got a foundation to try. It was in stock on Beautylish and again, I was like, free foundation or shipping. So I chose foundation. So the last time I ordered, I actually ordered from The Ordinary and this time I decided to order from Beautylish just to see. Can I just say how fast their shipping was? Everything was packaged up so adorably and it was like all wrapped up in paper, had a little bow on it. And I was just like, this is so cute. So super impressed with their customer service. And yeah. So the first thing I got was another azelaic acid. I feel like this is one of the things that helps my rosacea the most. I think it helps with the redness and also with the texture. And when people message me and ask me about what should I do for my rosacea, this is one of the number one things I recommend. And now I'm like, dude, I can totally tell because even though the apple cider vinegar helps, it's like the combination of these two things, especially if you can only do two things, this is what I'd recommend. It's just, I've been missing it so much and I can really tell the difference in the texture of my skin. So the next thing was the rosehip oil. Even though I live in a humid environment, I still need the benefits of some moisturization to my skin. And also I like the benefits that the rosehip has for rosacea as well. And I used that whole bottle up and again, like, I could feel like my skin wasn't as smooth without it. So the new skincare product I decided to get was the Buffet. And I thought about trying this in the past, but I was purchasing so many items at the time. This is a little bit more spendy item. I mean, I think this is like under $10. This is about $7. This one I do think is about $14 or $15. I've had a lot of people tell me what great results they've gotten with the Buffet. And let's be honest, I'm not gonna be getting any younger anytime sooner. I turned 33 this year, so anything for anti-aging, I probably should be implementing. I do have hyaluronic acid already, but this is supposed to have more good stuff. Let me read on the box here. So this has S-Y-N-A-K-E, mixed real, blah, blah, blah. All these like copyrighted or trademarked, I should say, ingredients. And it just says to apply to the entire face in the AM and PM after cleansing. And yeah. So this is supposed to target surface hydration, fine lines, wrinkles, dynamic lines, and textural irregularities. So I thought, you know what? Why not add it in? I am noticing the fine lines here. I don't really have the crow's feet, but man, do I have the W. It used to just be the one, and then it was the 11, and now it's totally the W. It's like, I need to like relax and just start like. And then to fill my cart, I did grab one of their foundations. This one is actually the full coverage foundation. And this is in the shade 2P, which is more pink undertone, which obviously I am. So right after this, I'm gonna film a get ready with me, wish me luck, hopefully little miss will cooperate. But I'm gonna try this out and I'll let you guys 
see how it's applying and we'll see. I, I, hopefully I picked a good color. It's hard to match from online, but you know, I did my best. So anyway, those are the things I purchased. Now you know why I broke my no buy and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.